Waigiri Ji Ka Khalsa, Waigiri Ji Ki Fateh. Uh, many times I'm asked about why I wear a turban as a woman, that in the Sikh tradition you normally don't see women in turbans. And as a woman I claim my right to wear a turban. It's a, it's a, it is my crown. It's my, the symbol of my commitment to my guru. And I often say, if Guru Gobind Singh you know, came into the crowd right now, I would want him to recognize me as his daughter. And with wearing my turban, he would do that. There are some writings uh, from back at the time of Baba Bagal Singh, when he uh, conquered Delhi, and the, uh, the emperor of Delhi received him at the gates. The Singhniya were with him at that time. And the, uh, the, the, the Muslim women at the harem asked to meet with the, the Sikh women. And they met, and they actually recorded it in their text. And they talk about the Sikh women in their turbans, and their, uh, they dressed as the men dressed. They dressed in bana, and they wore weapons. And they wore heavy silver on their, on their, on their bana as well. So I have this vision of them in their turbans, and their chola, and all of their jewelry, and their weapons at the same time. So they are uniquely feminine, but uniquely warriors as well. So we know from Sikh history, that uh, right after the time of Guru Gobind Singh, that Sikh, w Sikh women were wearing turbans. But we also know that during that time period, there was, at the time of the Galugada, there was, uh, uh, basically it was uh, kill on sight for most Sikhs. And the Khalsa lived in the jungles, and it was only the shopkeepers that were even able to uh, keep their life and be a Sikh. And so all of those Khalsas that lived in the jungle, it was actually their elderly parents and their women folk that ran the farms. So in order to keep the family going, the women stayed back on the farms and kept the farms going, which allowed the Singhs to live in the jungle and to keep the, keep the Khalsa alive. And it was really at that time that women stopped wearing turbans because as, as a turban-wearing Sikh, they would have been suffering the same uh, consequences that their menfolk were. So it was either give up the family and all starve to death, or create this survival, uh, this tactic of survival, which I think was a great sacrifice on the part of women. But then as time went on, and we're talking now about almost a span of 120 years, before um, there was actually several generations that y it was allowed to be a Sikh. And it was during that time period that women got out of the modality of wearing a turban. However, at different times, this spark has come back and women have put turbans back on. And during times of peace and prosperity, women wear turbans. So it's my advice, if you want peace and prosperity in your life, to put on a turban or to marry a woman with a turban and that will uh, go very far in solving all your problems. Why did you call Khalsa? Why did you keep